licensed captain using Mariner's learning system. Okay, today we're going to learn about the Mariner's learning system and why I chose it. Uh, I am now a 100 ton master's captain and it took me about two months. Uh, what I first did is I went into the courses here and I chose captain in a box. If you're here for FCC licensing, you could do all that stuff, but I chose captain in a box. Clicked on that. And then there are several things you can do. If you're going for your OUPV six pack license, you would click here. Your master's captain's here. Or if you're going from an OUPV to a master's, you would click here and that's the upgrade. But let's go into the OUPV six pack first. So this will show you pretty much everything that you need to know. Uh, the overview is very, very important. If you can get a towing endorsement, I would suggest you do so. Uh, it's always nice to have that extra little bit in there. Um, but I would read through this and it will show you all the you know, course subjects, rules of the road, A's of navigation, electronic navigation, characteristics of weather systems and life saving equipment and safety. Uh, what your sea service requires, your license operating area, where you're going to be able to uh, operate, and then your different exam modules. And these are your passing rates. You need to pass 90% of the rules of the road and then 70% on these other uh, things. So going back here, I'll show you the course materials. Course materials is very, very important. Um, you have everything on video through here so there's a lot of video you can do there's also study guides that they give you and actual their um, study guides that they actually send to you so you can have it in your hand so you don't have to just do the digital you can have something in your hand as well and then they also send you a navigators tool set which comes with a big chart comes with a parallel rule and dividers two pencils, an eraser, and a sharpener. And this is all very important because uh, you are going to be doing a lot of plotting and stuff like that. These are your license requirements. So of course, to become an OUPV six pack license, you need to have at least six, 360 days on the sea or on you know some navigable waters. And then, uh, then you're going to find out if you're going to do Great Lakes and Inland or near coastal. Uh, I would look into all this. Also, you're going to need to obtain a TWIC card, be minimum of 18 years old, pass a physical, pass a drug test, do CPR and first aid training. And I could show you in the show notes uh, how I did that online. Uh, you do not have to go to an actual physical place. Um, and then pass this course, of course and then you know complete a, a coast guard application package okay and then testing that's very very important when you're going to testing uh i'll show you more about testing in, in, a, in a little bit uh, but you're, you're going to need to bring some stuff for testing so that's the oupv if you want to go back here go okay so i chose to go for the master's captain um, since I had a hundred tons of experience, I got the hundred ton experience. Uh, you can do 25, 50 or hundred ton based on the experience of your, uh, ship going sea service. I also chose to get the U S coast guard sailing endorsement because I sail quite a bit. I sailed over 32,000 miles. Uh, so, um, also the course materials are going to be the same, only more in depth study guides and more in depth of your um, training series. They are also gonna send you the tool set like so. One big thing that's different is if you're gonna go for a 100 uh, gross ton master's license, if you're doing the master's near coastal, you'll need to have 720 days of sea service. And then also, I had Coast Guard experience. I was in the Coast Guard for four and a half years and they only give you 60% of your sea service uh, if you have ex-military experience. So know that if you're going to put in for your sea service, you're only going to get 60% of that. And then also with the masters, you have to be at least 19 years old. And then you still have to pass all these other things. Okay. So let's jump into 
uh, my account. Okay, I'm going to go to the login tab up here. And then you have this account dashboard over here, but basically we're just going to go into my courses. And once you're in the courses, it will give you a whole bunch of information. So it's OUPV six pack, master's upgrade, and my sailing endorsement, just like I was talking about. So to begin, you have to start off with the most easy, which is going to be at the OUPV six pack. And these are all the rules of the road right here. And then you have the different rules. But let's close this right here. So first you're going to have rules of the road, deck safety, deck general, piloting and navigation, and then your final proctored exam. Uh, and that, that's a certificate. Once you pass all this stuff, they'll issue you a certificate. So let's just open this right here and go through one of these first. So first you're going to go to a lecture. No, I don't want to start the last one. And it's going to show you the lesson plan. It's going to give you all the information that you're going to be studying about. And then you go to the next page, and it's going to give you a syllabus. So pretty much the lesson plan, but more, you know, you know, how much, how many hours is the completion time, and so on. So then you go to the next page, and then you actually begin your lecture. So what's really cool is if you click this right here, uh, this gentleman will read everything for you. International rules of the road application. The international rules apply to all. So it really helps as you're reading along. He's reading to you as well. So you're getting uh, you're getting it two different ways. You're visually seeing it, and then you're getting it auditorily. Also, you can watch these videos, which are really helpful. I'll click on one of these, and this video is going to kind of give you a more depth rules of the. This road. is part A. General. Of course, I can't show you all this because it's copyright protected, but I'm just trying to give you an idea, you know, show you an idea of what's going on. So if you go back here, uh, thinking right now, but there's uh, there are other things. Uh, if you go back, you just go to the next page and so on and so forth. Um, you could also go to your badges, and as you complete things, they'll give you course badges. Since I've already done all this, I've got all my badges, which you see on the left-hand side, and these are all the quizzes I took. So uh, to go back to the OUPV six-pack, you go to the reading. So once you do the lecture, then, they'll, uh, then you can click on this and you can read along with the book. They also give you a handheld book that you can actually uh, highlight and work with uh, and it's the same book as what they have here as a PDF. Um, then you take a quiz, and this is for each module, so you're going to take quite a, a few of these. So on my first quiz, I got 19 out of 20, which is a 95%. If I wanted to, I can go and I could review what I got right and what I got wrong. This is a typical question, and these are all the questions I answered correctly, and this is the one I answered incorrectly. So if I click on this, it's going to show me that it was incorrect, and I need to go back to the, my study material to get the correct answer. It's not going to tell me the answer. It wants you to go back and find the answer. So it's really, really uh, good stuff. It's very informative. Um, and as I said, once you go down through here, the most important thing for me was on when you click on the study notes, and you can only get the study notes if you pass the exam. So uh, the study notes are basically all the notes combined into a very concise uh, lecture notes. What I did on every single one of these is I printed every single one of them once I passed. It really helped me quite a bit uh, in the final preparation for my uh, test because I went through every one of these lecture notes and I highlighted the answers and uh, it, it's just really easier to study through this. One of the best things about the Mariner's Learning System is, is when you're using the Mariner's Learning System, you um, take a test that the Mariner's Learning System provides to you. When you go to a testing center, you go to testing locations, 
it's not a Coast Guard uh, facility. It's a Mariner's Learning facility. So in California, I would go to a San Diego one and register. And what you want to do is you want to register 14 days before you actually take the test. So if you know you're really close to being able to take the test, register 14 days ahead of time and then take the test. Now what I did, and you'll see this in the next video, is once I was ready to take the test, there were no available things for me in San Diego. So I had to go all the way to Richmond, California and take the test. Okay, car is loaded and we are ready to take off and go to San Francisco our Richmond, California for my Mariner's Learning System test. So far the traffic's pretty light. We're on our way to San Francisco. We have about another seven hours to drive. And then we're gonna spend the night the night before. And then I'm gonna study all day tomorrow and then take the test tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Back to studying. Well, we made it to the Airbnb and basically studying all day prior to the test. Um, I strongly recommend that you read the book as well as print out all of your uh, questions and answers as you're taking the test. Um, that's what I did and hopefully it'll work. After studying so intensely, I looked over at my wife and my eyes started playing tricks on me. She started to look like a danger buoy. This didn't look like such a bad place to take a captain's test. Nice. This is the Richmond facility. I don't know if you can see, but I passed with flying colors on all these tests. I was so stoked, but so scared at the same time. Since I passed on my first try, the trip home from San Francisco to San Diego was very beautiful and well anticipated. And in less than two weeks, I received my diplomas via email and I printed those out and I sent in my Coast Guard package. While I waited to get my U.S. Coast Guard license, I got a job as a first mate delivering a beautiful Jeannot 469 from Seattle down the coast to Santa Barbara and made all my money back on this one delivery. It was quite a sight. I hope you learned something valuable on this Mariner's Learning System video and hopefully you are becoming a U.S. Coast Guard Captain soon. Take care. Bye-bye. To get started on the Mariner's Learning System, go to the link in the show notes. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the Adventure Travelers.